Right, welcome to uh, the introduction to our new video historic firearms channel, the Armourers Bench. My name is Vic Tuff. This is Matthew Moss. Okay, I uh, started a video channel you may remember last year called Inside the Pattern Room, um, but since then, with some rethinking and rejigging, Matt and I have joined forces to produce the Armourers Bench, and uh, this being the intro to it. Um, my background is that I'm an electronics engineer, but many years ago I used to be the consultant armourer for a big uh, firearms dealer in the UK, and I got to see an awful lot of collections both in the UK and abroad, and inside armouries which had a lot of uh, historic firearms or obsolete firearms. So I got a background from that. I still do it. I still do a bit of research for uh, other companies and uh, get to see things that uh, we'd like to bring to you guys to have a look and uh, and see what there is still out there. Uh, Matt, I'll give you an idea of what his background is. Uh, I'm a historian. Uh, I'm a freelance writer and a researcher. Uh, my website historicalfirearms.info. Um, I've written for a number of publications including Small Arms Review, Popular Mechanics, History of War in the UK and The Armourer. Um, I specialise in small arms. Uh, I have uh, a bachelor's and a master's degree in uh, military history and I started writing about historic firearms about four or five years ago now and when I uh, met Vic we decided we should try and push it into another medium and do some video. Yeah, I, I tried this as you know last year and uh, I got somewhere into uh, introducing um, research and the viewing of historical firearms from a, a UK or European perspective, although we seem to be outside of that remit. Um, but I still have access to some collections and some museums and some factories still that uh, aren't widely known. And, uh, and today we're here at, at this collection um, and going to give you guys some overview of some uh, interesting small arms that uh, uh, that we can see here and at other places. Some areas that we're going to explore, we have to uh, uh, keep it under wraps as to where it is. Uh, some areas such as the Dutch Military Museum, they want us to promote uh, what they have available and what can be seen by um, guaranteed and genuine uh, researchers. So where we can, we'll tell you where we are. Well, we can't, we'll just show you the interesting firearms. But uh, the whole idea is to bring to you some knowledge that isn't necessarily generally known. Some people will know exactly what it is. Some people will think, well, what is that? that? Um, so uh, we've got some interesting things coming, things that um, there are only ones and twos of. For instance, um, we've got a very interesting intro uh, video on a belt-fed Bren gun, which uh, will be coming to you soon. Uh, I have a particular interest in um, Israeli small arms. Uh, I am an IMI qualified armorer, um, and also I have a, a real heavy interest in the early development of Armalite and the AR-10. So we're gonna bring you some interesting aspects of that. Matt's got some specialist ideas. He's a, a sterling um, guy, um, even writing a publication about it. So well, we, my interest is basically at the moment uh, British Cold War small arms. So everything from the EM2 to the to the Sterling submachine gun to SLR. So that's my area of expertise. But what we're hoping to do is what we're looking to do is bring together Vic's practical knowledge and some of my research knowledge and put it all together in a package that you guys are going to enjoy. So we're going to be doing videos. We're going to be doing blog posts. Uh, accompanying the videos and that sort of thing. Yeah, and I'll also try and where I can give you links to uh, public domain historical um, semi converted yeah. to video uh, of some of these uh, uh, of some of these weapons when they were first introduced to the public. For instance, the EM2. There was a Pathy Com Movie Tone um, uh, news uh, post on that. We can't embed the video in our posts because it's copyrighted but we can show you the links to it so th things that we can see um, uh, or we know the whereabouts of will give you an indication uh, i have a very um, good copy of the original armalite um, intro 
sales pitch for the AR-10. Now that's in the public domain, um, but I have the high quality original version. So we'll be showing you that and also stopping it and saying, this person in the video is such and such, etc. So we're trying to um, provide that information to you before it's lost um, forever. A lot of people I've met in the past I've met uh, Israel Galili, the designer of the Galil. He's no longer with us. I actually worked with him uh, on the armrest course in Israel, and I've got some anecdotes from that. I'd like to bring you information that I was given when I uh, was at Beretta um, and tell you about it because it's the information it will be lost unless it's shared, and information should be freely available. And that's what we want to try and do for you guys. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing individual videos where we look at individual guns. We'll also be doing wider breadth videos where we'll do overviews, we'll do deep dives, we'll do discussions, and that kind of thing. And where we can, we're going to make it light and entertaining. So it's entertaining. Yeah, yes. well. I think the idea is not to make it too dry. Mm -hmm. And where we can, if we can take the mic, if we can you know, make you laugh, bring a smile to your face, we'll do that. But we'll try not to bullshit. But we'd like feedback from you guys as well. If we're new to this. Yes. We'll, we'll say that. <laughs> so it's it's an evolve, uh, an evolving process. So critique is great, criticism is fine, <laughs> abuse. I'm sorry, you're going to be deleted. Okay. Let's see how we got on. So we we'll see you guys later, and bye for now. Thanks.